protecting my body. Imagine if you had a shield here, right? We're keeping his chest away from my chest. We don't want a connection like this so he can pass the guard, right? Right, because then he's gonna be into this space. But when I'm here like this and he's trying to get close to me, see, see how this is? There's always this space here and now I'm coming in and locking him up. So uh, a couple things here. I right, put my hand in here, look, just coming in like this too. See that? It's <clears throat> a good way to lock it. So if I come in here, it's like a scissor, lock in. So that's the first step. You know, do it. You can do it right here too. We start to play, start to do some things. Look, see, boom, boom, I'm in. All right, now once I have this, good little shoulder control. I'm not really trying to stop him. I'm absorbing. If he, if he tries to posture up, I move with him. If he tries to, wherever he's moving, I'm moving with his shoulder. I'm not trying to stop nothing. I'm just kind of staying connected. If he moves back, I move with him. Try to put your arm out. Now I got my legs. Right? He tries to move his legs. Follow him. He tries to use his hand. Let's turn this way. He tries to use his hand to push the, the free arm to push the knee, right? Because he wants to free up the legs so he can try to pass. He's doing something that some people are going to do. Try to turn his arm this way, we'll talk about it in a second, but can you, uh, what can you do with your hand? Nothing, nothing. Right here, boom, this is where I'm getting the darts. So here, we lock up, get good control here, work on the setup. Insert the hand, wrist into the armpit, come over, pull him in. Lock up the arm and C grip, latch into the top of the shoulder. And we'll put here. You see? So now we're here. Great. Now you check the legs. You're trying to now you're trying to clear your legs. So see? See what I do? And then he's like, alright, let's turn. And then he's like, alright, I'm gonna that's not working. So maybe I use my hand. Or, see what he started doing? She started to wiggle his arm out. Go ahead. Arm drag to the back. Usually I'm not trying to like put the hooks in. I'm getting more here so I can break it down and work in. I'm just maintaining control. If I lose the back, I'm gonna push him on his back. Take the top position. So that's kind of what we're doing right here. So that's the first idea I have for you guys. Get good there. Right? You don't want them passing the guard. Right? That's the whole thing. Don't want them passing the guard. So, very important. When you feel hand doing something, lift them with the opposite leg. Most people are used to having this underhook and you might think they want to pass this way. Right? So, we're going to look at uh, a few things here. So, like, we're in this position and the guy's trying to pass this way. I should take my arm straight a little bit. Look what he's doing. He's just getting in the back. And if it's here like this, I mean, I'm like already on his arm. So I, by, by here, uh, you're, you, uh, you just, like you're pushing the knee down. You're trying to pass. See, I'm right here. He's like, he's already messing up. You bend his arm this way, not keep it straight. Why you bend your arm? Because the time. pressure, right? Yeah. The pressure on the elbow. So I don't really care too much if a guy's trying to pass this way. Oh. See what I did there? So he's got to get past the hook. Get past the hook is the hard part. But he does get past the hook, okay? So he gets past the hook. Get past the hook. Look at that. See, I'm back in. Just by sticking my arm through. Yeah, I cover his face too. All right? So I, I'm not too worried when he wants to pass that way. So I get past my legs. Oh, oh. Now what? <laughs> now I'm back into the guard. Look at my hands. I have the lock up. He gets past the leg. I turn on my side. 
shove my hand underneath this chin. Look at this pull. It's a lot of space. And I'm gonna pull myself back underneath him with that thumb down grip. That's, see, look at this. Already in an arm bar. Okay, so it's dangerous. So, guy passing this way, they're always gonna give the arm. He's going this way, pass. And look, let's say we end up here. Is this bad? This ain't bad, because look, I can go underneath and spin around, we've already done that. So these are just some ideas around this. I've got the early catch. Boom, or I just, am here like this, I've already blocked this arm. So you can do that. Now if I'm here like this, I mean, I'm moving into a, a good position here. Usually when you start attacking the arm, what they do? They want to square up on you. Boom, well, now we're back into the guard. So we control the pace. We control the fight. We're always attacking, always threatening. ABCs, always be choking, right? So when I can see the neck, I attack the neck. Okay, you're here. Boom, underneath. Boom, it's just gonna spin me. It's hard to stop that, because we're on the shoulder. It's just a real nice wee look. Here, boom, underneath, move. Keep it around or get up, that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go wherever he goes with me. I'm just gonna be underneath the armpit. So when you hear like this, weave it in, you weave them both underneath. And one or two are gonna frame the back of the tricep here in that shoulder armpit area. I'm always targeting this area, see? Sound good? Yes sir. All right, let's practice. Three.